Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Book Talks with Yo. My name is Joanna, and today I'm sharing with you some books on writing that I would like to read. So today we are doing a slightly different video than usual, but it is one that I really wanted to film, as I believe I have a pretty good list of books about um, the craft of writing, about different writing techniques and advice that I just wanted to share with you. And moreover, one of my goals for this year, one of my writing goals this year, is to read more books about writing. And I think that would serve the purpose. And as well as that, I am planning on probably making another video where I review some of those books, like I read them and I review them for you and tell you what is worth it and what you might skip. So if you don't want to miss that out, hit that bell icon there so you can be notified when I do. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. All right, the first book on my list today is The Elements of Style by Willem String and G.R. and E.B. White. I've heard a lot of things about this book and I know that many writing teachers actually use it a lot and recommend it to their students. I haven't been recommended this book by one of my teachers, but I still read a lot of reviews and people say that it is a very useful one and probably the best one on the topic that they found so far and it can't, it can't really compare it to anything else. And it's essentially about all the, it brushes on all the basics like the grammatical structures and uh, the composition of them and all, all of those things that might seem like something, yeah, I know how to do, but it is always worth just brushing up on those and remi re reminding yourself of them because they are essentially what composes your writing. And I know that it is something like a um, style or, or grammatical manual or, or help book or something like this. And yeah, it, it, just, it just sounds like something I would find useful. And I've, as I said, I've read great reviews about it. So I'm looking forward to getting my hands on that one and giving it a go. Okay, next up we have Bird by Bird by Anne Lamotte. And I feel like this book has been called by many people um, as an essential part of the writer's toolkit. So it, is, it, is sound, it sounds promising and it might be the highest rated I have on my list. Might be, not sure on this, but it might be, or it's pretty high up there. And it is essentially not only about writing, not only about um, the craft of writing and advice about writing, but it's also about managing um, the life of a writer, if you wish, and about creativity, about finding your voice, and all that comes with writing, essentially. And I've heard that people say that some um, funny personal anecdotes and stories are interwoven within the advice she's giving, so I feel that this will make the experience even better and I'm excited to check it out. Next up we have The Writing Life by Annie Deward. And this book, I feel like it's slightly different from the rest of the books on my list because it mainly focuses on the difficulties and struggles of writing and just the writing lifestyle. And I feel like this is going to be a, an important and useful book. As I said, it's not much I know about it, it's just the fact that it's about the struggles and obstacles of being a writer and how to overcome them, of course. And I feel like this is going to be a useful read when this lovely imposter syndrome hits and you just start doubting yourself and your writing. It just, it always feels nice to know that you're not alone in this and that, in fact, everyone goes through that. The next book is Writing Down the Bones by Natalie Goldberg. And I know that I said that Bird by Bird is probably the highest rated book on my list, but I think those two come pretty close together. And this book has the lovely subtitle um, Freeing the Writer Within You or, or something similar. And it, it was so lovely when I was reading the, re the reviews of this book. It was so lovely to hear how people say that it changed them uh, not only as writers but as people as well, which is always like it's a nice thing to to read about the book. It's it sounds promising, and people say that it reads like a, a reflection on the craft of writing. But at the same time, you have some useful methods and techniques and advice that you can implement to your own writing. And a thing to note here is that the book was written in 1986 or something like this. So some things might not be mm, that 
available nowadays but it is it still sounds like a book that is worth the read and just it's worth checking it out and I will hopefully do that soon next one is The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron and this book many people say that it focuses mainly on um, dealing with burnout and the so-called writer's block and of course uh, I talk about how to overcome them which I think is essentially something we all struggle with and we all have to deal with at some point or another so I think that would be useful and as well as that I know that she also talk about um, gaining this self-confidence as a writer and encourages you to uh, even further explore your creativity your creative powers and like the possibilities around you as a writer so this sounds like something I would sure like to read and it, it honestly sounds like something we can all benefit from like gaining the self-confidence as a writer as I said my previous like about the previous book this imposter syndrome sometimes hit and it's good to have this mentality and this confidence gained so yeah and it's a book I want to check out and it was written a decade ago but some say that it's even more relevant today than it was when we was first written, so that sounds really promising. The next book is The Emotional Craft of Writing by Donald Mas. And this is another very highly rated and loved book that it is probably the one I'm most excited about reading. And yeah, it is all about evol uh, writing with emotional power, evoking emotions in your readers and creating those realistic and achingly human characters that your readers would just love and care about and essentially emotions evoking emotions in your readers is what will make your book exceptional and what will make your book good and what will have a a good impression in your in your readers and will make them remember and think about your book so i believe that this is a very important aspect of writing that I would like to work more on, so I think that book would be useful for me. And Donald Mas is a literary agent and a fiction instructor, so I think he will have some useful insight and some tips that he would share in that book that I would probably benefit from. So yeah, I'm really hyped about reading this book, honestly, because evoking emotions in my readers is what I love to do the most when I'm writing. Like, I, I feel proud when someone says that my book made them cry. This is like how uh, this brings me joy and happiness which also sounds very sadistic to say but you get what i mean and last but definitely not least this is getting into characters seven secrets that a novelist can learn from actors or something like this by brendlin collins and this book um you've probably heard me go on and on and on and on and on about the importance of good, realistic, authentic and compelling characters for your novel. And yeah, talk about all those um, character profile sheets that I just stand by. But this is just because characters are what makes your story. They are a very, very key part of your story. And having good characters for your story is what will make it memorable and what will make it good. And this book is essentially giving you um, an insight into the psychology of your characters and it's helping you get to know your, the psychology of your characters in order to be... Well, this is key in order to be able to express their feelings um, in writing realistically and sound as close to real life as possible. And because it is drawing from examples like methods and techniques that actors are using, I believe that it would be a very fresh and different insight into writing characters. And yeah, I just feel like it's gonna be a different experience. It sounds like a, a very useful, very practical book that will be... And it, it sounds like something unique, honestly, because it's not talking solely from a writer's perspective, but also drawing examples from actors. Yeah, I believe it would be an interesting thing to try out, so I guess I will get my hands on it soon. So, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching and if you did, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on my new videos. Please let me know down in the comments what are some books on writing that you have read before. Thank you once more for watching and I really hope to see you all next time. Until then, have a smiley week. Bye!